Zen ties. Mom, there's a bear over there, said the little girl. A what? asked her mother. A big panda bear, she, the girl said. What is he doing? What is he doing? asked the little girl's mother. He's sitting. Maybe he's waiting for someone, said her mother. Still water was waiting for someone. He was waiting for the arrival of his new nephew, Pooh. Uncle Stillwater, it's summer. I have arrived. Seeing you brings me smiles. Hi, Koo, said Stillwater. I brought you some welcome balloons. Koo took the balloons and, and bowed. Up, an uplifting gift. C could you carry my case, generous uncle? asked Koo. It's a short walk to the house, but there would be nice park would be a nice park on the way. Let's stop there and have some tea, said Stillwater. Stillwater, Koo, and the balloons sat all quietly in the park. Tea was very good. My cup holds empty now em empty now. Where should I put it? asked Ku. Still water did not like to waste. We will use these cups every day while you are here so we can ha save save them. Suddenly, still water burst out laughing. That tickles, he said. Hi, still water, said his friends. Abby, Michael, and Carl, we were just coming to see you. Hello, said Stillwater. I would like you to meet my nephew, Cool. The children introduced themselves and everyone ran off to play. Abby invested a game called Jump on Stillwater. It was fun. Michael wanted to ask Stillwater a question. I'm going to be in a spelling bee, Michael said. What would you do if you were in a spelling bee? I would spell, would spell words, said Stillwater. Michael looks at his shoes. What if they, what if you weren't sure of how good you were? I'm anxious about it. I feel like I'm going to mess up. Do your best. That is what you're supposed to do, said Stillwater. But it's hard to do my best when I'm nervous, said Michael. Stillwater nodded and then smiled. Kua and I have to visit Mrs. Wacker Wick Wicker this afternoon. Would you like would you you like you would you uh I would like you, Carl and Abby Addie, to come along. The, the Miss Wacker who lives on our street asked Addie. Yes. That that Miss Wick Wacker asked Carl. She hates us. She's really old and she spits when she talks. Every time we walked past her house, she shouts at us. She sc scares me. She's your friend? asked Michael. Stillwater looked at them. Yes. He said, she isn't feeling well and she must 
and we must bring her something to eat. The children helped Stillwater prepare some soup. It smelled very good. Then they put it on a tray with some soft bread. As they walked quickly down the street, Stillwater said, Miss Whitwacker Acker is a good friend. You'll see. Why on earth did you bring these children here? Shouted, she shouted. The children back away. Hello, Miss Wicker. I don't know how to spell her name. Say her name. She said, still water. You look well today. We've brought you some nice soup. Carl looked at Miss W and she did not look well at all. She looked thin and looked small, much smaller than she did when she stood up on the porch yelling at them for throwing a ball in her yard. Stillweller helped Miss W into bed and then he offered her some soup. Then asked, he asked Addie to sweep the floors and he asked Michael to open the curtains and the blinds. Carl hold the dustpan still. Carl hold the dustpan still, said Addie. Carl and Koo are very good at drawing pictures, said Stillwater. I can't see pictures anymore, said Miss W. Carl and Koo drew silver pictures together. When it was time to leave, Stillwater put them around Miss W's bed. He told her they would become they will come back tomorrow. Outside the children said goodbye. Bye, said Carl. Bye, said Addie. See you tomorrow, said St Stillwater. I don't know, said Michael. I should study for the spelling bee. You should c come, said Stillwater. You should come early. The next morning, Stillwater told Michael, Miss W used to be an English t teacher. She did? asked Michael. Then Stillwater said, Miss W, did, did you know Michael is going to be in a spelling bee? Well, said Miss W, I know something about that. Now listen, just like plants, words grow Words have roots, Miss W said. A plant grows from the, its roots, and so do words. Roots of words can teach you to spell. That And th with that, Michael spent all morning with Mrs. D Miss W studying for this, his spelling bee. The next day, Stillwater found Koo looking up at the apple tree in Miss W's front yard. Oh, hello, Stillwater, said the voice up from the tree. Can you catch me? I was getting some apples for Mrs. W, said Carl. This morning sunlight gathering apples and a boy, said Koo. After the spelling bee, Michael raced to Miss W's. I did it, said Michael. I made it all the way through to the end. Good, said Stillwater. So you were not nervous? The judges were nothing compared to Miss W, said My Michael. Yes, said Carl. Just this morning, she was shouting out at us again. Then, why are you smiling? said, asked Stillwater. She 
was telling us to get out of the street and and play in her yard. Of that, on that last day, Koo's visit, Mike, Michael's, Michael's presentation, Miss W with the ribbon, he, he got into the spelling bee. Carl gave her all the apples he had gathered. My mother taught me to make apple tea, said Miss W. I haven't made it for in years. No, Maddie and I have to make you some. When it was time to say goodbye, Addie, Michael, and Carl gave Koo a big hug. Summer fade, new friend's face, lighten the way home, said Koo. At the train station, Stillwater looked over at Koo. You may throw any you may throw any cups now. Still said Stillwater. Koo shook his head. Nearing my visit ends of the summer now taste of apple tea. I will keep my cup, said Koo.